Okay, this is going to take roughly 12 minutes and I think it's way worth watching. I bought a wood chipper for $129 from Harbor Freight Tools. And first see me unboxing it, then I do a quick review and show the parts of it. Um, you have to put it together first, but you can see all that here. The assembly and uh, user manual. Two plastic wheels. That's how they look like. Tools, screws, and hubcaps in this box. And there is the frame. Axle comes with bushings and screws at the end. Oh, a pedal. A chipper. Interesting. Okay, we are mounting the wheels on the axle and we put the axle into the frame. Watch how I do that. So this little toolkit, what comes with it, doesn't have pliers in it. But you need pliers until your fingers are like pliers. Otherwise you would not be able to tighten that screw there. Uh, it could help if they would have two tools in there. If you uh, tighten both nuts at the same time, then you don't need pliers.
Once the nuts are tightened, you can clip on the hubcaps on both sides. So four screws in the frame, there's little washers underneath, don't forget those, will hold this piece together. Well, here's the first issue. So the holes don't, don't line up in there. Um, something has to be done. So it's not working like this. So on the right side we can squeeze the plastic around to fit the hole like it's not right but it's doable. And now we just tighten the screw here on this side and then we look at the other side. On the other side we face the same issue. One screw fits and the other one doesn't. So even if you try to get it over there it doesn't work quite. Basically, you have to drill a new hole here. So, now that we have the assembly done, we are going to take a look at the knives, at the blades, to see how they look like before we mess them up. Huh? Oh, there was a plastic clip in there and it doesn't fit on the plug so it probably holds that pedal there somewhere else. So I don't know exactly where this will be mounted. The blades look good and sharp and they are fixed with two screws, each one of them, and you can turn them around. So if you unscrew them and turn them by 380 or uh, 180 degrees, then you can use the other side. So basically every blade has two cutting edges and you can switch them around. Well, so this bolt doesn't go in easy, it is very long, so you have to close that up and then we are ready to run this thing. Well, we have an on-off switch and a push-button fuse. So okay, first thing I did is made this opening wider here because otherwise you can only get the one and a half inch stick, in, inch stick in one corner there and all the branches to the left of it don't fit through there really. 
that's unsafe, but I don't give a shit. So here is the thing. You can see this when you go down. You get stuck there on those little ones. So you have to turn it around and all that is like really a pain in the butt. That's why I cut this stuff off. And I am not afraid to put my fingers in there. Like this, here, there. You know, you only stick your fingers in there once. Oh, and then there is more. I removed another safety device in there. Uh, this pedal here is a straight pedal, but the, the hole in there was like round, uh, round and curved, so it didn't really fit in good. And uh, I like it this way. I, you should not try this at home, not, but I do it. Uh, this thing you can remove so that kids can't switch that thing on without the green thing. You can lose the green thing and then you don't uh, <laughs> you don't uh, turn the engine on anymore. There's a protection cap on the power plug. It doesn't fit in there. Here's the strainer. It's loose on there to, for, to clean this thing. Or it that no wood chips go in there. And this is how the chips look like. Nice and small. So that's not too bad. And fresh wood cuts easier than dry. Now, I put this little basin under here to catch the wood chips. And I don't get so much dirt 